everybody, I'm Asia Norris. Welcome to Countdown to Commencement. On behalf of my classmates, the Montgomery College Class of 2014, thanks for coming to help us celebrate. During the next hour, I'll share a few highlights from the past year and some special messages from some of today's graduates. To start things off, we ask, how does it feel to be graduating? It feels good. I mean, I've been here a little bit longer than I planned on to it, but you know, moving on, moving on in life, um, it's what it is, and you know, I'm just, I'm just glad, I'm just glad to be moving on. I feel very, very happy. Uh, I'm excited, happy, but yeah, sad at the same time. I have to let go of so many people. I know. It is a great achievement for me to graduate from Montgomery College in the School of Art and Design. This is something that I've always wanted. And so I actually did it, and I did it with honors. And so I am very proud of myself for that. It feels great. It's, um, it's a goal that I had, and I'm achieving that goal, and it just feels wonderful. It feels really good to be finally be graduating. I started fall 2011, and now it is 2014. And I'm looking forward to continuing on my path of education. Oh my God, so many emotions are running through me. There's a light feeling of panic combined with the ecstasy of finally being able to leave college. A positive experience that I would never trade for anything else. I'm so excited and I'm happy. I feel great because I came from a long, long way. I feel very great. It feels like a great accomplishment and I'm happy that the day has come. I'm very excited about graduating. Unreal, I guess I won't know until I walk on the stage and get my diploma. I feel happy and good. It feels amazing to be graduating. I have worked very hard and made lots of sacrifices to be here. It feels great. I'm very happy to be graduating. It feels great. It feels, feels like I'm finally at the, almost at the finish line of my uh, you know, education and learning to apply it in real life with uh, my own uh, talents. It feels good. It's relieving. <laughs> it feels awesome, like another accomplishment. <laughs> it feels awesome to graduate. This is another milestone of my life. Um, it took me quite a long time to graduate because I changed my majors and whatnot, but it feels so great, and I'm just glad to be a graduate of Montgomery College. I feel fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> It's another accomplishment in life, uh, something to definitely be proud of. I feel honored. I worked so hard. I did everything on myself, no help, and I'm proud of what I've done. Oh, it feels absolutely wonderful, absolutely fabulous. It feels wonderful. It's been a challenge for me. Um, it's been five years that I've been working towards my associates, and it's, I finally have it, and it's great. It's good to be standing here and walking away with at least the radio certificate right now. So that, that makes me proud. And people that know me and what I went through, it makes me proud to be standing here today for that. It feels absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I have proved my dreams, my mother's dreams, my father-in-law dreams, and my family dreams to be the second graduating from a college. Absolutely wonderful. I've been working on this chapter in my life for 10 years and I finally made that, uh, I finally hit that goal and that's one thing off my bucket list. Long overdue and just one more thing to motivate me to the next level. It feels almost unreal to me to be graduating. I started college later in life, like 25 years after high school, so this is a really huge milestone for me. Oh, it feels great to be graduating. I mean, this is a wonderful milestone. I've been here, I've been here for five years, and now that I've done, done what I needed to do and worked hard, time to graduate. Like Christy, Deanna, and Dominic, graduation is a milestone for many of us, but we certainly didn't get here alone. Mama, thank you, love you. Um, thanks for letting me, uh, you know, teaching me all these things so I can graduate. Dad, thanks for paying, and also teaching me, Jared, little brother, uh, stop being lazy. Everybody on the second floor, these are my peoples up here. Love them to death. Uh, I was going to miss everybody. I'll say hi to my friend Elvis. How are you here at uh, Takuma Park campus and my family back home in Cameroon? I would like to thank my mom, my dad, um, my best friend Eli, and um, brothers and sisters. 
I'm so grateful to my family for their support in this new course and venture in my long life. Thank you to my daughter Angel, my son Darnell, and to my fiance Edward Hamer for all your love and support. Along with my mother, my grandmother, and my aunt. And of course my four-year-old son. I love both of them, all of them actually. Thank you. To my mom, my brothers, and my sister, and also my stepdad, all of them uh, put their efforts together to make sure I, I would be here right now and talking to you guys. Mom, dad, we did it. Without you and without your uh, support in a lot of different ways, this wouldn't be possible. It's greatly appreciated. Love you all. Shout out to my mom, my dad, my amazing friends, my amazing family for their limited support. Thank you. Thank you to my mom and dad, Kevin and Alicia Reese, to my siblings, Bernard, Joshua, Vivian, uh, to my church family, Bishop and Mother Way, Faith and Sin in Christ. I thank God for you. And also to my friends um, who helped me along the way. Thank you. I would like uh, to say thank you to my husband, to my children, to my relatives and friends who encouraged me to finish it and get success. First, I want to give thanks to God for um, pushing me and pulling me through everything. Then I'd like to give thanks to my sister Sylvia, uh, my brother-in-law, and uh, my brother Frank for um, helping me economically and uh, emotion emotionally throughout the whole time that I was in college, and my mom, and my, the rest of my siblings. I'd like to give a shout out to my family, my kids for their support as they've received their degrees, they helped me receive my degree, and especially to my wife Anna, thanks for your patience as I survived algebra. I would like to thank my son Brendan for putting up with me, helping me with some of my computer skills, uh, waiting at swimming practice uh, when I was here trying to get to class or leave, uh, So, and my, the rest of my family also. I want to thank my husband. If it wasn't for his loving, gentle nudges, um, I would have never started down the path towards uh, this degree, and he showed me, he had confidence in me way before I did, and helped me uh, start this journey. I would like to give a shout out to Dr. Stephen Leitz. He may be dead right now, but he's sitting at her up in heaven watching me right now giving this speech. I also like to thank my mother and my sister, especially my sister, in helping me to decide where I wanted to go to college. She said, Dominic, you should go to Montgomery College because you're paying in-state tuition. It's not a lot of payment that you have to have. You get a good education in a professional environment. So I'd like to give a shout out to my mother, my sister Belinda, all my other family, my Aunt Elsie, my cousin Inga, whose daughter went to Montgomery College as well, and all my friends that I've made, and any professor that I've taken classes from as well. I'd like to thank my family, my father, Dr. Anderson. I'd like to thank my family for supporting me as well and helping me to continue my education and making sure that I'm doing the right thing what I want to do in life. Christy, I love you. Mom, Dad, thanks for helping me out the first couple years. Nick, Mike, Jess, thanks for supporting me. And my family too for being so supportive of me to my whole process here and thank you guys so much for all you've done. I would like to thank my friends and family for all of their support, love, and dedication. Without them, I would not be where I am today and who I am as a student. I'd like to thank my family for helping me. Without them, I wouldn't be here. I'd like to give a shout out to my family and friends for always being there to support me and push me through my struggles. To my lovely husband and my daughters, thank you for all your patience for me and everything you've done for me in this long process. Thank you. Hello, husband. Thank you for your support. And hello, my, my beloved daughter. Thank you for helping me to finish this course. Myself. I want to say thank you for me. Yay me. For the past year and a half, I worked at Montgomery College Television. Being there, I got to see lots of things that were happening on our campuses. Last fall, I even got to meet the Raptor. Speaking of Raptors, it was a great year for Montgomery College sports. Here's a few of the highlights.
and he's going to beat it out. And here comes Pino, and he scores! He is safe at the plate as Antonio Pino has scored from second base to win the game for the Raptors. Congratulations to all of our student athletes on a great year. Now, back to the grads. We gave them the opportunity to thank MC professors and staff. Here's what they said. I'd like to give a shout out to Professor Summer uh, for being a great professor. Uh, he made me think outside the box, uh, and I love that. Professor Collins, thank you so much for the class that I'm attending now. It's, it's uh, Intro to Meteorology, and it's fascinating. I would actually like to thank two people, and that would be Professor Parkin and also Patty Secreto, who have been most helpful to me. To uh, Joanne Carl, uh, thank you for uh, being there and uh, actually pushing us to try harder. Professor Leroy Froome, wow. Froome, it was an incredible adventure. Without your perseverance, your patience, and your overall love for the industry, um, I don't think I would have stuck with it. To Professor Dana Baker, she was my counselor. Uh, she definitely helped me to push strong, to exceed. Even when I failed some classes, I had to take classes over again. She helped me just to stay on and finish strong. I personally want to thank Melissa Lismi, my professor. She has been a mentor, a friend, a wonderful uh, academic advisor. I would like to thank for my advisor, Sue Haddad, in the DSS department for helping me every way, every step. I also like to thank all the professors at Montgomery College helping me to achieve my goal. To Professor Matthews, which was an algebra teacher, um, Professor Carlson, which was a psych teacher, um, Professor Pernita Hernandez, which is an education teacher here, and um, my favorite teacher of all, which really I owe everything to him, he's such a great teacher, um, that would be Professor Selbier. Deborah, Mark, Al, Patrick, um, in the automotive um, field program. Thank you for your support and help. The professors that I want to shout out are Mr. Froome, who is, again, the radio major, and he's leaving. He helped me through a lot. I want to shout out Professor Carl, who I'm having currently as an ABJ teacher. She's very nice and very down to earth. I want to shout out Miss Elizabeth Feldman, who also helped me through a lot, and I took a couple classes with her. And I also want to shout out a few counselors that has helped me through, Rose Sachs and uh, Denise Simmons Gravens, Graves, excuse me, also helped me out through a lot of things. I want to give a shout out to Professor Rosado because she's awesome and a great professor. To Ms. Fisher, thanks for helping me graduate. It's been a life-changing thing for me. Thank you. I would like to thank the support and leadership from the Hillman Entrepreneurs Program. Without the opportunity to be accepted in the program, I would not be where I am today. To Dr. Walsh, um, <laughs> to, uh, to Counselor Professor um, Mr. Sempo. I'd love to give a shout out to Professor Bronco and Professor Rizzotti for helping me along my way. So I want to say thank you to my beautiful and awesome Professor Marshall for all the support she gave me in this process. You're awesome. Thank you very much for everything. Hello, Professor Sunny. You're very, uh, you're very good advisor, my mentor, and my uh, second father here in Montgomery. And hello, all the staff, especially in the bookstore. You're, you're very kind, very friendly, and I feel, uh, I feel like we are family here in, in America. Professor Josefina, who difficult years for Spanish learning, she kind of helped me understand it. So I'd like to give a shout out to her. I wanted to thank Professor Mirbord for supporting me, for helping me along the way. A very warm and loving shout out to my best friend and uh, the one individual I do admire here is Miss Audrey Hill. Professor Marshall, Professor John McCarthy, uh, Professor Harry Singleton, you've all meant an incredible amount to me throughout the course of this college experience. I will never forget you. You, my uh, cyber, cyber security teachers, uh, Professor David Hall and Sylvia Vargas. Professor Vincent Clancy, best of sociology professor. You got to go and take him. 
I would say thanks to Professor Levy to give me the fundamentals on cyber security. I would like to thank um, Shelly Alves, Virginia Youngblood for their support, their help, uh, Professor Pappas, um, all my professors for their support and help. I know that if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. To the faculty of the School of Art and Design, Professors Adams, Rousseau, and Helsley, also Professor Van Wagner and Professor Oberndorfer, who have been absolute mentors to me. Thank you, Professor Jana Asher, for helping me to make it through statistics. Professor Carl Smith, Professor Syed Wasif. To Professor Myra King, without her continuous support, I, I wouldn't be here today. I would like to thank Professor M for instilling economics into my brain, micro and macro, and I will continue to learn a lot more about economics and eventually change the world with one of my own policies. We'll have more messages from the graduates a little later, but right now I am pleased to present a special commencement edition of the weekly news program produced by the college's advanced broadcast journalism class. I took the class this spring and I must say it was a great experience. So for my classmates and I, here's our commencement edition of MC in Focus. Welcome to the special commencement edition of MC in Focus, Montgomery College's only student-produced newscast. I'm Brian Fithick. And I'm Heather Welliver. We in advanced broadcast journalism would like to say congratulations to all of the graduates and their families who are celebrating today. We would also like to give a shout out to those who are working hard to make commencement a memorable event. We worked hard this semester as well, dedicated to bringing you live news about MC. So now, let's take a look at some of the best stories we've covered throughout the year. We begin with a look at what Montgomery College has to offer the many international students who take classes here. Mariolis Molina has the story. Welcome to Montgomery College, where over 170 countries are represented by students and international students. Montgomery College opened its doors to international students who want to study in the United States. As one of the international student coordinators at Montgomery College, Katie Russell Kalkofen helps international students to get student visa documentation so they can take classes or complete degrees. Ms. Heidi will explain each step required to obtain a student visa to come study at Montgomery College. If a student's outside of the United States, they're going to be doing a lot by mail or they're going to have a friend or family member in the area who needs to help them through this process and can kind of bring this documentation. So what we have on our web page is sort of a step-by-step, step, step one, two, three, four, five, what do you do? And they need to apply like any other student does and get a student ID number and get a profile in our computer system so that the whole college knows who they are. And then we need some additional documentation to create a form called an I-20, which is a certificate of eligibility. Once you have completed all the requirements for the student visa, the International Student Office will respond in a timely manner. So the other documents that we need are really those. Proof that a student is really at the college level of education, that they've finished secondary education in their home country, which sometimes means we have to evaluate some things that we know that their English level is high enough that they can actually take classes with us. The international student coordinators on each campus work hard to make it easy for students to navigate the F1 process. We spoke to Charles Stephan, an international student at Montgomery College, about how long did he have to wait to obtain his F1 student visa. Well, it took me approximately two to three months because we had to translate my document and send it overseas. For MC in Focus, Mariolis Molina. Montgomery College has some very interesting courses, but one of them might just top the rest. The meteorology program is both underrated and fascinating. The members of our MC in Focus crew took a closer look. Students trying to decide what science to take to satisfy the general science requirement often look to biology, chemistry, or physics. 
They may not know about a course that not only satisfies the requirement, but is fun to provide students with valuable information. Meteorology at Montgomery College offers students the chance to look at real-time weather data, make solid predictions, and learn valuable tips on how to stay safe during severe weather. Professor William Cryer teaches meteorology at MC. The study of weather and climate is relevant to not just to people who are in the sciences, but it's relevant to everybody. Every time you step out in the morning, you're interested in what the weather is and what the weather is going to do, especially on days when there might be severe weather. Professor Cryer hopes that meteorology students will be inspired by the lectures and the lab exercises. I do a, uh, a style of class that is not so much lecture. I do some lecturing, but uh, I expect my students to do their own learning, and so I present current weather situations. I teach my students to ask and answer their own questions about the weather, and each of them has to do a case study at the end of the uh, semester on a current weather event that happens during the semester. The study of meteorology offers many opportunities for students beyond working as a meteorologist on television. A licensed meteorologist can be a consultant for a local clothing store or department store and work for one of the many branches of the National Weather Service. And if it's not your career choice, just taking the course offers skills and knowledge that can enrich your daily life. People have the misconception that it's just forecasting. Meteorologists are employed by uh, department stores, for instance, who want advice on when to put the sleds or the snow shovels on sale or when to put away their winter stuff and, and bring out their spring apparel. Construction companies need consulting from a meteorologist. Environmental groups and environmental issues are weather dependent, and so meteorologists can work with environmental issues. But the most important thing for students to consider before starting. But I would suggest that just for the sake of flexibility, get as much math as you can. For MC in Focus, I'm Marcus Van Putten. We owe a lot to our teachers. As a matter of fact, some of today's graduates will be teachers thanks to the Montgomery College School of Education. Most students attend classes at Montgomery College hoping to finish their studies and get out of school. But a select group of students are working to remain in the classroom for their entire professional careers. They will become teachers. For the future early learning center or preschool teacher, the education program at Montgomery College offers a certificate and an associate of applied sciences degree in early childhood. For those heading to a K through 12 classroom, the options are numerous. We also have a number of programs which are transfer curriculums that would allow students to start at Montgomery College and then transfer to a four year school to complete their certification. Those programs are available in early childhood education, elementary education, and a variety of secondary fields including mathematics, chemistry, physics, Spanish, and English. One major advantage students find in their teacher preparation at Montgomery College is the early opportunity to get into K-12 schools for observation, one-on-one -on -one student support, and small group teaching. Students who begin their education pathway at Montgomery College are fortunate in that they are able to get into a classroom in Montgomery County Public Schools early in their curriculum. In many cases, the first semester they are thinking about becoming a teacher, they can be on a field experience opportunity in a school at the grade level and or in the subject area that they're really interested in. Another key feature of our program is the high quality of our faculty. All of our teachers have been teachers themselves, some in early childhood settings, some in K-12 systems in Montgomery County, in the District of Columbia, and in other places in Maryland and across the country. These teachers bring all of that experience to the classroom for the benefit of our students. I chose Montgomery College because it was close to home. It gave me an opportunity to experience college and make sure that it was something that I could do without spending an abundance of money. I still had a chance to lose focus and regain focus and I guess make more solid goals for myself and I chose here to do it so that I could really plan my next step a little better. If you think you might like to enter the challenging and rewarding field of teaching, see the School of Education page at www.montgomerycollege.edu 
or contact an advisor at the campus nearest to you. Here at Montgomery College, a lot has changed over the last 30 years. But one thing has been a constant. Mr. Froome has spent the last three decades running the great radio program here at MC. He is now retiring, so it's time to take a closer look at the man behind the magic of E-Radio WMCR. I've been at MC for 30 years. Professor Leroy Froome has been with Montgomery College since 1984 in the Communication Tech Department radio program. The next step was calling Professor Froome and finding out about the curriculum and he sold me with that phone call and the next day I enrolled in classes and started my journey in radio. Many students at the Montgomery College don't even know there's a radio program at the Rockville campus. But the moment you meet Professor Froome, it's certainly hard to forget. Professor Froome has been really helpful to me. I'm making a transition from food and beverage to radio, and I couldn't do that without him. He recognized that uh, I'm in it to win it. Professor Froome has helped a lot of students excel in their careers. He has a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge, and he's always about radio, just making the next song happen. I love Professor Froome. He's the best. Best of luck in all his endeavors, and thanks for all the help. But each one of you has to go through me to wear these. Farewell and goodbye. All the best. For our last look at the sports for the year, we're joined by our very own Marcus Van Putten. What have you got for us, Marcus? Believe me, I got a lot plenty in store. Welcome to In Focus Sports. They call me... Mr. Dynamite, also known as Marcus Van Putten, and this is a commencement show, so congratulations to all the graduates of 2014. Let's take a look at this year's Raptors sports highlights. Let's give it up for the Lady Raptors volleyball team. They took home the regional national title and competed in the national tournament. They proved many critics wrong that they are a group of competitive ladies. So congratulations to the ladies volleyball team. Hope that next year you can bring the same hunger as you did this season. And let's show some love to the men's soccer team that led the nation with many goals that looks just like this one. How about we take a look at that once again? Oh man, look at those moves! That was a goal by midfielder Giovanni Viatoro, one of the many faces of this year's MC soccer team. They finished the season with an impressive 22-3 record. In addition, they won their second straight championship and ranked fourth in the nation. And finally, how about the men and women's track and field team? They set a record this year by setting the most participants in this year NJCAA National Championships. They brought home five silver medals and two gold medals from the national meet this year. The running Raptors finished first in the 4x8 and in the 4x4 relay race. Big shout out to the men and women's track and field and all of Montgomery College athletes for their successful seasons. Well, that's it, our final episode of MC in Focus. We want to thank our viewers for your support, as well as all the students, teachers, and MC TV staff for giving us the opportunity to spread our wings and fly. It's been a pleasure. Congratulations to everyone in TV and radio, and to all who are completing degrees or certificates in 2014. For MC in Focus, I'm Brian Fiffick. I'm Heather Welliver. Mr. Dynamite Marcus Van Putten. Have, Have a, a great, great summer. summer.
Art is everywhere. When listening to a musician, when bringing joy to people, when you are working, when you're being a superhero, or you'll find it while walking on the street. Help save the arts. Most people know that they should wear sunscreen if they're going to be out in the sun, but many are unaware that getting a little sunshine every day is important for your health. You may have heard that sunlight helps your skin create vitamin D, which helps prevent cancer and heart disease. But did you know that just 10 minutes a day promotes better sleep, a happier outlook, and can even prevent depression and seasonal affective disorder? Don't let a gloomy indoors bring you down. Get outside for 10 minutes a day and get in touch with the joyful youth inside you. Sunshine, essential for life. Let's hear some more from the class of 2014 on what today means to them. Graduation is awesome. It feels great to be transferring this coming fall. I feel very accomplished and proud of myself. I feel very excited to be graduating and transferring to the University of Maryland. It feels great to be graduating because after this I'll be transferring to the University of Maryland. I feel so happy because it was a long process for me and I feel so good. Oh, I feel happy. At last, I'm done, <laughs> but I'm still going on to finish, my, to finish my dreams as a nurse. It's great. I mean, you spent here for two, I've been here for two years, and this weight of my shoulder is gone, and all my hard work is coming to an end. Feels good to graduate. I am very excited. Um, as they say, better late than never. So I will be graduating with my AA and hopefully going on to get my BS. Excellent. I never imagined that I would be graduating at this time, in this age, in this situation, so it's, it's feeling wonderful. It feels good and it feels sad at the same time living in Montgomery College. Kind of nerve-wracking, but really awesome at the same time. It feels good. Like, finally, it took like years, but I can finally say I'm done. I feel very, very excited and actually I want to thank uh, my mother who supported me and my dad that uh, I wish he's with me right now uh, He passed away a year ago, but I'm telling him that I'm graduating and uh, you, I'm sure you are watching me uh, now and uh, I'm proud of myself It feels great to be graduating. It's been a slow process for me with one class each semester But I'm finished and I'm so excited about it it feels great. I'm ready to go to the next chapter in my life and keep it moving. Very excited. Happy. I'm very excited. It's long overdue. It feels relieving. Oh, it feels excellent. It's been a long time coming considering the path that uh, I've taken to get here. Uh, all I've had to endure the adversity uh, and it's just a stepping stone to the next part of my life. Feels good, it was a long time coming, but you know, it takes time, hard work, dedication, but I got it done, I'm very happy. It's a, it's a relief, man. I'm gonna make my mama proud. <laughs> Big graduating, I'm very happy, I'm very proud, so. I'm encouraging everybody that is watching this to try, it. even if it's one or two class at a time, one day you'll, uh, you'll, you'll finish. I couldn't know that today I'll be graduating, so, hey. It's so exciting. <laughs> Um, it feels great. I feel like it's taking a lot, of, a little longer than I wanted to, but it feels great. But it feels great to graduate from Montgomery College. I, I, I feel accomplished to, to, to have made it this far, and I feel, I feel brand new. I actually never believed that I would make it, so I'm very happy for myself, and I'm very proud of myself as well. Well, it really feels awesome. I'm so happy that I'm graduating finally. It feels excellent to be graduating. This has been a nine-year-plus road for me, uh, starting and stopping and coming back and going, and I'm just really excited to be done. 
with this chapter? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, you know, over hard work, challenges. I'm excited I'm going to. Too. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. It's so relieving to be graduating. They are feeling relieved, excited, and empowered. And they have lots of people to thank. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for helping me get through this. And I have some really awesome siblings. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, Daniel, for all of the proofreading you did. My father for being there for me. My kids for giving me the inspiration to go back to school. My fiance for helping me and being through the craziness of it all. Um, love you guys. I want to shout out my best friend in the world right now. Her name is Shirley Estrada, who is uh, by my side and was always willing to see me graduate. He's going to be there at the graduation and excited for me to get this far. So Shirley, I'll see you there and hopefully we'll see your husband with you. And I also want to shout out my brother. My brother's going to be graduating too. So Andrew, thank you. Congratulations. I would like to give a shout out to my husband, my kids, and most of all, my mother, Phyllis Diane White, who is no longer here with us. But because of her, she pushed me and I achieved my goal of graduating. I want to shout out to my friends, family who was there. Actually, the first credit goes to my mother and father-in-law. My father-in-law is not in here, he is in heaven, but my mother-in-law, who is also not with me today, but whenever she will see this, I think she will be very glad that being um, raised and born in a third world country and coming to here, continuing education with children, um, I mean, it, it was challenging, but it's awesome. Also, my, um, my sweetheart husband and my two kids. Um, um, my husband, Parameswar, he has given me all the support and love I needed. My kids, they were there with me all the time that when, when I was in continuing my education. So they are like, they, the whole credit goes to them. It's not me graduating, they are the one graduating. My husband, my kids, my mom, myself. <laughs> That's it. Mona, Mona is my best friend at the college. She's like a sister to me. I give a shout out to Yvette, who is also my good friend and a sister. I give a shout out to Charles, my family, my mom and dad, uh, every classmate that I had. Uh, I would say somebody that y'all probably don't, don't know, his name is Imani, he, he basically t taught me everything I know about TV. I want to thank my, all my friends for encouraging me, uh, especially my friend uh, Nina, and I uh, want to say my mother, my aunt, and uh, my uh, another mom, her name is Mama Nahida, she encouraged me uh, to study and I'm here uh, to graduate. I would like to thank my family, my mother, my dad, Spasiba, Mama, Papa, and I also would like to thank my sister and her husband for helping me. I definitely would like to give a shout out for my wonderful, loving husband, Johnny, who has stuck by me throughout everything, and my mother, Debbie, who has always been very supportive with, um, of me throughout my life and my best friends that are here. I thank you for understanding the time that I had to put in for my college degree. Oh my God, my mother for supporting me through this entire process, my brother for dealing with my various mood swings and panic attacks, my dad for being able to continue to go to his job and make enough money for me to even go to college. I, I owe everything to them and more. Oh, not to mention the board of trustees for giving me the scholarship that I needed to even begin college and the Rockville Scholarship Foundation for giving me the scholarship that I needed to get my books. Uh, God. Every single person in the class of 2014, y'all. I would like to thank my family too for the support and my fellow classmates who have been several over the time I have been at Montgomery College. I would like to say thank you for my family, especially my husband and my cousin Tesfu, who was pushing me to have these opportunities in this college and all my kids and my, fam my sister and my mom. Also, I thank my family and uh, my kids, my husband, and all my friends who helped me to, who support me to finish my degree at Montgomery College. I would like to thank my family for all the support, um, my sister for all of her support, my fiance, and um, uh, same with the faculty and staff for helping me through my journey 
through Montgomery College. I would like to thank my mother, my grandparents, my auntie, my cousins, and my brother. I love you all, and thank you. Caitlin Haney, you're the best. Thank you. I'd like to thank my parents for helping me get past these years of college. They helped me throughout the years of uh, persuading me to stay in college, and they helped me to finish, and I thank them immensely for it. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. I would like to give a shout out to my husband. He's been um, my greatest supporter. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my daughter. I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and my elder brother and all my siblings. I also would like to give a shout out to my classmates and friends in the mental health program. I would like to thank my family, especially my husband, for supporting me throughout this process. He worked while I stayed home with the children and, and attended classes here. Um, thank you to my children for understanding when I had to push them away to get my homework and papers written. Um, thank you to my parents for always encouraging me to do my best. That's, I think that's it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> As a graduate, I can certainly say that I didn't do it alone either. I want to thank my parents for their love, guidance, and support during my time here. I love and appreciate you both very much. Just because summer is here doesn't mean MC is closed. We have lots going on. Summer sessions start next week with lots of classes to choose from. Check out the course listings online at montgomerycollege.edu slash register. And did you know that Montgomery College has great summer programs for kids? There are more than 200 classes and activities throughout the summer. They're so much fun. Check it out. M what? Oh Future Makers is a, um, is a mobile maker space that um, works with community colleges throughout Maryland. And um, we basically bring tools and um, knowledge to the kids and we teach them how to make things. We do woodworking classes, we do uh, vinyl sticker cutting classes, robotics classes, Lego classes, sewing classes, all sorts of stuff. And these are going to be the pieces that you're going to add to your box. They're really good programs that keep kids active in the summer and um, keep them, you know, you know, keep them occupied in the summertime, you know, instead of, like I said, just hanging out at home and being bored watching TV. They're really good programs. You know, I'd highly recommend them. I recommend them to my friends all the time. Three different classes that I'm teaching this summer, they're the oldest kids um, in youth programs and they love being here. The fact that the high school, the college kids come and pick them up for breaks, take them down to the campus center and they get to get snacks and they're starting to walk their way around campus. Some of them even started this class talking about, well maybe Montgomery College would be okay for doing a year or two. So it really opens up, especially the big kids, that the campus is here and that it's not something that can be ignored. I've worked in a couple community colleges in Maryland. Montgomery College has been really good. They, um, they're on top of their game. They know exactly what's going on and they're great to work with. For more information on summer youth programs, visit their website. You also don't want to miss Montgomery College's Summer Dinner Theater. Last year, the Pajama Game and The Wiz got great reviews, and I'm sure this year's productions of Suzuko the Musical and Les Miserables will be no different. So get your tickets soon. I think it's time we get back to the reason we're all here. Once again, we have more messages from today's graduates. I'd like to give a shout out to Professor Rosati and R Professor Bronco for being there as my mentors, and not only just my mentors, but people that I can come to and talk to. 
I would like to give a shout out to Professor Joanne Nake, uh, who's the program manager for the Renaissance Scholars, as well as all the faculty and staff and students with the Renaissance Scholars. To Dr. Loff, um, the Honors Coordinator at Montgomery College. Uh, shout out to Professor Nake and Professor Haydell for being the best professors. Um, shout out Professor Anthony. Thanks so much, Jade Malibé. Uh, you are the best professor. You helped me a lot. I would like to say thank you to Zaporia Smith for a great, um, a great class this summer. And she is a wonderful teacher and helps um, everyone to understand the importance of cultural um, exploration in the classroom. Amy Beals, uh, Professor uh, John McCarthy, Professor Gordon Barry, and Professor Judge Algio. Linda at admissions, I mean at student life, she's amazing. Thank you so much to her too. The entire campus council, thank you so much. And I think that's it. I mean actually that's not it, there's too many people. Professor Burkhart, she was a very tough teacher and she pushed me to the limit. And I didn't like her at first, I'll be honest, but she really showed me how more of me there was and, it, and, she, and I really thank her for pushing me and helping me see my greater limits. Dr. Mark Antonio, he was awesome. I would like to give another shout out to Dr. Mark Fetus. I would like to give a shout out to um, Professor King. I would like to give um, a shout out to Professor Heather Santrum. She was really awesome. To Professor Cronitas. Dr. Mason, both of them were really awesome. I want to say thanks to Professor Shahel, and I want to say thanks to Professor Injoma Otibo. Um, I want to say thanks to Professor Cindy Cooper. Oh, Miss Dada down in uh, admissions, um, all, the, all the counselors, just thank you to everybody. Professor Kutch, Professor Joanne Carl, Abdul Karim, and Professor Froome. Um, I would also like to congratulate Professor Froome on retiring and um, hopefully his stay here was great. Um, but they all, um, they know their stuff. They came from um, really great backgrounds. Um, they have a lot of knowledge and um, they were just some great professors and also Professor Feldman. I can't forget about Professor Feldman. She really pushed me um, in the classes that I took, took with her. So Professor Faye, my favorite professor, you're really nice, you really take your time to really know your students and your teaching is just awesome. We love you. Captain Rudin, thank you so much for a fantastic two years. Live long and prosper. Shout out to Professor Crouch, Professor Carl, Professor Froome who is uh, retiring after this semester. Uh, Abdul, who is the technical man in the studio. I want to thank my uh, manager, Ms. Younes Ekatobi. She helped me through uh, all the process and to make it happen. And I'm here, I'm graduating. And also, I want to uh, thank uh, Dr. Malvex, that, who helped me a lot uh, to study abroad. Uh, it was a business class. And also, I want to thank Professor Fraser also as well. She helped me uh, to grow um, in management as well as uh, grow personally. All the professors that, that I had like since the beginning, especially uh, the ones from uh, ASL, like the reading and the language professors. I'd like to give a shout out to Professor Palmer. I'd like to give a shout out to Professor Ellen and also to uh, Professor Griffin. All you guys have made a great impact on my life. There's Professor Alex Combs, uh, Atu, uh, Professor Pumonier, uh, many other professors, I can't have a name right now. So thanks all engineer professor, all those physics professors, they're they all there helping us. So thank you guys, I made it. Especially Professor Graves, with Professor Benjamin, Anyone that I've left out, any names I left out, you guys know my face. Thank you for being there, teaching me what you taught me. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna leave me, it's gonna stay right here. I'm gonna take it with me, be successful in the future. Professor Fodum, one of my favorites. Professor Koch, Professor Kyle, 
and Abdul since he'll be leaving hope you get this message have a safe trip back to Senegal love you man thanks so much to all the faculty and staff at Montgomery College for helping the class of 2014 make it to this day as we near that point where I get to join my classmates and we make our way into the tent here are a few more thank yous I'd like to give a shout out to my family members that were able to be here today Jesse Kegley his wife Rosie Kegley Paul Kegley and his wife Amy Evans Kegley. Um, so happy to have you here and also my husband Jeff Cover. And I wanted to also just shout out to my employer, Avendra, for helping and encouraging me to finish getting my diploma. To my amazing husband who supported me the entire way, my Uncle Terry, my Aunt Melissa, and all of my family and friends. I love you guys and I couldn't have did this without you. I would like to thank my dad that flew all the way from Peru to be here with me and my husband and my daughter for all their love and support. <laughs> my mom and dad and my sister Felicia and my boyfriend Langston, without all of them um, and the belief in me, I would not be here today. Thank you and I love you guys. I uh, want to thank my mom. She's the greatest woman I've ever known, very independent. Um, she inspires me. She's my role model. She pushed me through all of these years that I've been here. And um, I'm glad that she gets to see me walk. I want to thank my dad, my grandmother, my sisters, and all of my, um, the rest of my family and friends who are just really proud to see me um, move forward and uh, grow. My wife, Treasure, and my three children, Royal, Dream and Admire. Daddy love you so much and I'm glad you're a part of my success and my journey. I just the family, everybody, anybody that supported me, any and everybody, I know how it is. Shout out to my wife, my baby, my other kids. See what daddy's doing, daddy do it big. Follow daddy's footsteps and make sure you do it better than daddy. Thanks to my mom, my dad, friends. I want to say hi and uh, thanks for all the diaspora, the communities, uh, everybody that be struggling with school, uh, families, to keep up, uh, taking two classes at a time. Take your time, you'll get you one day. If you had it, you can. Um, I would like to thank my parents for all their support and for always pushing me to do even better. And I would also like to thank um, my boyfriend who has been with me the whole time that I've been here. I wanted to thank my family, my husband, my daughter, my cousins, all my family that each in their way helped me to continue school and push through and finish each chapter and I wanted to thank all of them for helping me through this and my friends that helped me come to school every day, <laughs> make it fun. I just want to say thank you to my friends and especially my family and my daughters for being so supportive of me and giving mommy time to study and <laughs> get it together. Um, and a big shout out to my parents. They were just so uh, supportive and I love them so much. Thank you. I give a shout out to all my friends also that pushed me while I was in school and to Montgomery College as a whole. Thank you for everything. You guys provided all the tutoring, the writing center, everything. Thank you. Oh, I want to say thanks to my mom, mommy, Colette, and to my dad, Papa Samuel Tabe, who has always been there for me, and most especially to my fiance, Seth. I just want to say thanks to all, you, all of you guys. I would like to give a shout out to my friends and family, specifically my mother, Lynn Axtell, my sister, Andrea Axtell, my aunt Jackie Sapper and cousin Tiffany Kildale as well as my girlfriend Bridget Ambrose. Thank you very much for all your support. To my parents of course for being a huge support for me not only financially but emotionally and physically they were always there for me whenever I needed them. Um, to my siblings for not getting on my nerves when I was studying for an exam and to my best friend Basma who is always there to help me edit an essay or finish one up or something. So thank you so much to all of them. My family, they're the best, they have me too. Uh, 
I take this opportunity to uh, to appreciate them for everything they've been doing to me. Uh, thank you. I would like to thank God for this accomplishment because without him, I wouldn't be here. I'd like to thank my mom, my fiance, my family, and my friends. I would like to say thank you to my husband, John, and my kids, Ivy and Helen Drew. Thank you for um, sacrificing time and financially to help me um, pursue this dream. So thank you. We are closing in on 10 o'clock, but before I sign off, I would like to thank MCTV for the greatest work experience during my time here. Shout outs to Brian, my work dad, Francine, who is shooting this right now, Stan, Joe, Dan, Rick, Sam, Scott, Danielle, James, Frank, John, Michael Brown, and of course the awesome students, my CEO, 10K a day, Leon, Jeff, Rachel, and Sarah the Princess, Mike, Helen, Patrick, my partner in crime, Heather, Bobby Price, and Melissa Pace. Are you ready to see your graduates? Congratulations, class of 2014.